Hey folks, Mike and McGee here with your trusty sidekick, Caleb. We got us a coon today, and uh, it's been uh, about a week since we picked up our newest hunting guide for Tennessee for this year and next year. And the boys went directly to the trapping page, and guess what they found? The law has been changed, and now we can trap raccoons and possums year-round. Now this one was caught because of garden problems. It would have been legal to catch him regardless. It wouldn't matter. But when the boys saw that the law had been opened up to where we could catch these things year round, you should have seen the excitement in their faces. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, do y'all want to come over here and see the camera? Oh, Suey, come over for just a second. Just for one clip. Just stand right here. It's like, yeah. This is my buddy Matthew. Who actually set the trap? Me. You did? Okay, this is his baby. These boys are the ones that discovered it in the book. They uh, they were pretty excited to say the least, weren't you? Yep. These boogers are really hard on our turkeys, our wild populations of turkeys, and among other things. We, we have chickens. We raise eggs, all that good stuff. So... Also, recently in a video, a guy asked me, please show me how to remove the glands on a coon so that he'll taste better. So I'm gonna go through all that with you now. I'm gonna get this thing peeled down, then we're gonna get him stretched out here, and we'll look for some glands. Let's see about it. <laughs> She's not a hickey. Was she eating your garden up? I think so, but that, that uh, groundhog. groundhog. Well, maybe Groundhog will be the next one on the list, buddy boy. I hope so, because we was going to get him that day, too. The day you seen him, or the day no, you got the, this? Yeah, the day we seen we got that one. And my and Katie went at that sucker. <laughs> Caleb couldn't catch him, though. They're fast. You got to get them in a trap, or else shoot them in long range. Mm. He said he just left and went right across the path there. And <laughs> Well, Frank, you're a good old timer. Do you know where the glands are on these things you have to remove to make them taste good? No, I don't. All right, here's how you do the glands. Look at the underarm pit. This is the front shoulder. Take your fingers, spread that apart, and just cut back a little bit, and them glands will literally just pop out. So this is the gland. Once you get a hold of it and don't let it slip away, just cut it out like that right there. That is a bad tasting gland right there. No good. Once you get rid of that, you can cut this front leg off and it could go directly into the frying pan. All right, we're gonna turn this baby around, do the other one for you so you know exactly what you're dealing with. Under this armpit, you see that right there? That's a gland. Grab it. Pull it out and just sever it right off. That's that's the gland right there. All right, that's my video on how to remove the glands. At this point, we're just gonna dress this thing out, quarter it up, and get it ready for the skillet. We like to eat coons, and I must admit, in our in my opinion, possum is better. These old coons have a dark meat, but they can be eaten, and really, for the Appalachian people, Frank, it's been a staple in their diet. Mm -hmm. Appalachian people have eaten raccoons since the beginning of Appalachian people. So yeah. I'm proud to be a good old Appalachian American. <laughs> we might do a cooking video, we might not. Sometimes I get home from work and my wife has gone in there and she has took this raccoon and she has fried it up and it's ready to eat and we just eat it frank. Don't tell me some of them women on here watching won't get in the fridge, they dig will. out a coon and they fry it up. They will. <laughs> they won't because they don't like coons. No, they do. Goodness gracious. He ain't got no faith in y'all folks. I know for a fact that there's men in here that's got wives that will get in their refrigerator, pull out a coon, and fry it up for the old man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just about guaranteed. Not guaranteed. Well, folks, we're going to get on out of here. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.